Thank you very much, uh, masters of the ceremony, and uh, dear friends uh, united in uh, fighting poverty around the world. I'm very glad uh, to be with you to observe the International Day for Erad Eradication of Poverty. I will say a couple of words in French in honor of our francophone uh, co-sponsors of this event. Uh, Permettez-moi. Tout d'abord, euh, Monsieur l'Ambassadeur et Conseiller Bartoli, de remercier la France et le Burkina Faso, les deux co-organisateurs co de cet événement, pour le soutien de longue date que vous avez apporté à cette initiative. Back to English. We are approaching the end of the first year of turning the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development into reality. With its 17 goals, the 2030 Agenda is a universal vision for peace, for prosperity, and for dignity for all people on a healthy planet. Achieving this objective is inconceivable, is inconceivable without fulfilling the mandate of the very first SDG, to end poverty in all its forms. Today, some 1 billion people live in extreme poverty. More than 800 million people endure hunger and malnutrition. Around the same number of people do not have safe drinking water, an issue in which I am very deeply involved. Poverty is generally manifested in lack of access to health, access to education, and other essential public services. This constitutes, in fact, denial or abuse of these rights and other fundamental human rights as was spelled out by the masters of ceremony. Poverty is both a cause and a consequence of marginalization and social exclusion. To fulfill the promise of the 2030 agenda to leave no one behind we must address the exclusion of people living in poverty. This is the time of today's observance, and I'm so glad to see a room filled with so many people and so much energy to deal and confront and act on this great challenge. Exclusion, humiliation, and frustration are powerful drivers of social unrest, violence, and radicalization. In extreme cases, this leads to the violent extremism that is now plaguing so many parts of the world, as we know. That is why our strategy to address violent extremism must emphasize tackling root causes. Generally, we have to deal much more with root causes. Generally, we have to do much more with prevention. We are running from one crisis to another, dealing with symptoms. We have to go back to the causes. Still, let us remember that in most instances, in most cases, people living in poverty respond with stoic resilience and dignity as they work to escape the degrading reality of their daily lives. The duty of all governments and all societies and all of us is to help these neglected and vulnerable groups. That is, in fact, the mandate of the 2030 Agenda, to leave no one behind. I'll repeat that. Our collective mission is to address social and economic inequalities and facilitate, even mobilize, the engagement of all people living in extreme poverty. We must also provide the tools for those in poverty to help themselves, to help their families and their communities to build a more equitable, a more sustainable and a more prosperous future. The message of today's observance is moving from humiliation and exclusion to participation. That is how we will end poverty in all its forms. Let us work to break down the walls of poverty and exclusion that afflict so many people in every region of the world. And let us make sure that the voices of all those living in poverty are heard, listened to, and acted on. On this International Day for the Eradication of Poverty, 
Let us commit to respect and defend the human rights of all. We must help them fulfill their potential to the benefit of all humankind. It is in fact not only a question of charity or doing the right thing. It's a matter of enlightened self-interest that this balance is struck in a different way in today's world. And by the way, you often land in hopelessness. I can't do any much, any much about this, more, more about this, and you turn off the television. Stop the world, I want to get off. We must fight that attitude. We can achieve change. Nobody can do everything, but everybody can do something. And you in this room represent that. So, by working to achieve all the sustainable development goals, we can end the humiliation. We can end the social exclusion that people living, living in poverty face every day. This meeting at the UN today is an important occasion to listen to these voices. Let us not rest until we have achieved a world of peace, a world of prosperity, and a life of dignity for all. I thank you.